In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an existing aluminum window in an existing lap siding condition with a Marvin wood clad window with nail fin, showing you all the proper flashing techniques for a correct installation. There are a lot of different siding conditions in California. What we're going to show today is how to remove a horizontal lap siding to open up the wall, and then we're going to install and properly flash a new Marvin clad window in its place. Once we have the siding removed, we are then going to make sure that our weather resistant barrier, the paper that keeps the building dry, we want to make sure that that's intact and doesn't need to be repaired. So when we remove the siding, what we found is 15 pound felt paper. This is acting as the weather resistant barrier, which is really common in homes in California. Now that we've removed the siding from the wall, we've been able to access the nail fin. We're going to find everywhere it's fastened into the wall and pull all these nails. In some cases, we'll also have sealant behind that fin, so we're going to have to be careful in pulling the unit out to get it out safely. Now that we've removed the window, we want to check around in the framing members to make sure we don't have any rot or decay. The most vulnerable spot is right where the rough sill meets the trimmer stud. At that point, once we know that we're structurally sound, we're ready to install the sill flashing. Anytime. Next, we're going to check the rough sill to make sure it's level. Given that this is a remodel application, we want to make sure that our sill is as level as possible horizontally. And then we also want to make sure that the sill is dead flat or has some positive slope to the exterior. Next, we're going to apply the apron. In a remodel application, we might have a condition where the weather resistant barrier is damaged or has holes in it. So we're going to apply an apron to the bottom before we build the sill pan. The apron should be a mechanically fastened piece of flashing, not an adhesive backed. The reason for that is we're going to want to lift the apron up possibly later to put either the existing or a new weather resistant barrier underneath it so that everything sheds water in weatherboard fashion. Now we're ready to install the flexible sill pan flashing. What I'm using here is a butyl peel and stick membrane, also referred to as self-adhered flashing and we're going to pan flash the opening and I'll show you the process of how we do that. So now we're going to take a nine inch wide roll of the flexible flashing to build our sill pan. I want to find this lower corner and make a vertical cut so that the sill pan flashing will lay down right on top of my apron. So now we're ready to install the bow ties in the corners. A bow tie is basically the butyl self adhered flashing that's four inches wide and four inches tall and I put a V-notch in it with one inch of material in the middle. And we're going to apply that at the corners that could be susceptible to potential water intrusion. Now we're prepared to set the vertical jam flashings. Like the sill, I'm using a nine inch wide roll of butyl flashing and I want to protect the trimmer studs from any incidental moisture. So I'm going to install the piece approximately two inches above the opening and set it perfectly plumb all the way down the jam. When installing a Marvin nail fin window, it's important to pay attention to a few key points. We want to make sure that we put sealants in the right locations, 
We also want to make sure we're using the correct shims and putting them in the correct locations. And we want to make sure we counter flash the nail fin properly and incorporate it into the weather resistant barrier. The first thing we want to do when we install the window is to dry fit into the opening. This will ensure that we have the proper shim space between frame and jam. Also, pay attention to the Ziploc bag that we have taped to the glass. This has the installation instructions and associative installation hardware needed to install the window. When installing the sealants, we're going to apply three beads, three-eighths of an inch wide, onto the surface of the wall. This will embed into the nail fins. Then we'll install a back dam bead on the inside edge of the sill. We do not apply any sealant at the sill at the bottom of the nail fin because this is where we want to drain water. So when we're installing the interior shims, there are two types of shims on the market. There are plastic or horseshoe shaped shims or wood shims that are tapered. Whenever installing shims at the sill, you always want to use plastic shims because that could be in a plane of water. Using shims on the side jams could be either plastic or wood shims. These are called truss head screws. They're made by GRK, and we like to use these as opposed to the roofing nails that we list in our instructions because they give you good holding power on the nail fin and you don't run the risk of accidentally damaging the cladding when you're nailing off the nail fin. In the installation package that was taped to the glass, Marvin provides it with foam corner gaskets to be installed at all four corners of a nail fin window. We apply this bead of sealant at the corner gaskets three inches in both directions where the corner gasket keys into the nail fin. This will ensure a more watertight joint at these corners. It's a good idea to use your finger and create a filleted caulk bead to help that be sealed. We're now prepared to apply the counter flashing over the Marvin nail fin. We're going to use a four inch wide strip of butyl flashing and we're going to counter flash over the vinyl fin. The fin in and of itself is not a waterproof joint so I'm going to show you a time-saving technique using a speed square to accurately apply the counter flashing so that it rolls up to the edge of the cladding. Now we're going to pull the flashing that's lightly tacked to the window loose. We're going to take our speed square and we're going to make sure that we're well adhered to the wall and then roll our speed square sideways to press it into the nail fin window. You'll notice how the counter flashing rolls up onto the edge of the cladding. This is our first line of defense if water gets past the siding. So applying the rigid head flashing at the top is a critical step because we want to ensure that any water that lands on the head can drain out. So on this sample, we have some clad brick mold casing that's factory applied. I've got a piece of Z metal and I put a couple notches here and here so when I set the Z-metal in place, it creates a nice return. So I fold this front piece in 
and then I'll take a hammer and lightly tap this outside piece down to make a nice 90. So any water that travels across the drip cap drains straight down on top of our flashing. Our final step in counter flashing the window is to apply one last piece of four inch flexible flashing over the top of the rigid flashing that we just installed. After the opening has been properly prepared, the installation of a new nail fin window is very similar between new construction and replacement.